channel thank you so much for tuning in and today we are having a collaboration and with Felicia I'm going to um, link down the, her channel and mm -hmm. her Instagram um, link and all of that in the description box and I'll for do you the to same. follow because we're going to have a second video on her channel about um, cohabiting Mm -hmm. Fat and set, set basically. basically. <laughs> so we're gonna come and we're gonna do a fat and set video on her channel. Yeah. So you guys should just go and subscribe, comment, and like and watch the video as well. So that's a really important conversation to have, eh? Because I'm sure at some point in your life you have had to make that decision, or you are still going to have to make that decision. So make sure you tune in. Yeah. So um, now for my channel, we're going to do a Q and A. Mm -hmm. So we went on Instagram, we asked our followers to ask us a couple of questions and we're just going to be answering them here yeah. um, and share um, the answers with all of you, the messes mm -hmm. of YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, without further ado, let's dive into the Q&A. Here are some of the questions. So the first one is, Yo Boiti, how are you? What do you think of my profile? Do you know that guy? I don't know this person. This person doesn't even follow how me. How do I feel like this person? Oh no, it's a different person. This I'm person thinking. doesn't even follow me. But this person is asking you what do you think of of, of their profile? You just you just want a two minute <laughs> No. Yep. <laughs> and then the other one says salute. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know why. What about what you're saluting? They're Maybe saluting your profile. Girl, that's question. a good thing. No, so, I'm sure they're talking about your profile. Like you're doing a good job. Salute. Mm. Isn't salute like? I know. It's like yeah, cheers. Like, like mm. you know so, when you're saluting when you're having a drink and like salute. That means you're doing something. That's right. what I thought of. Okay, and then another <laughs> one is hi, Boiti. Um, hi. This person seems like they've been wanting to say hi, but never yeah, because most of them are just greeting me. Hello, hi, mm. and this one says, "Let's connect." Um, oh, I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable enough to connect mm. with a person that I don't know like that, and also I don't think this person even follows me, so I don't know why we're connecting. And then another one says, um, "What have you learned about friendships and friends?" Mm. What have you learned about That's friendship a, and friends? Yo, I've learned a lot. Like, I've learned a lot. And I'm going to try not to get too personal. Because you can get too personal. <laughs> but, um, I think I've learned that... And this is a very important thing. Like, it's not a very positive thing to say, but it's important. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Just because you have true intentions towards someone does not necessarily mean they're going to have the same mm. intentions towards you. True. So don't be naive in whatever relationship that you're in to think if I treat this person good that means eventually they're going to treat me good as well and if I do certain things that means they owe it to me to do the same things like if you're going to do something do it because that's what you want not expecting the same thing in return and whatever yeah. so yeah and learn to take hints and signs like if a person is continuously showing you the type of person they are eventually you have to learn at some point and I think yeah, that's a lesson I took forever to learn and yo, yeah. Mm. Mm. What about you? Well, for me, um, if there's one thing that I've learned is that as friends and in friendship is that, you know, sometimes as people, mm. we grow and yeah. as we grow, at times we tend to grow apart mm. and to start doing your own thing, but just because now everybody else is doing their own thing mm -hmm. it means that we're no longer friends exactly. or we're disconnected but some people don't seem to get that exactly and That's you know true. we can't be <laughs> clinging on to one another mm. we are grown we have our own lives to live we have mm. things to do and you don't expect to always know everything about what your you friend know? is doing you must just That's understand important. Yo, That's i wish important. i wish everyone could see things like that and because that. some people don't nah. Mm. That would be easy. And it's very torturous when a person is constantly like, yo, honey, yo, these days, like, yeah. yo, these days, eh, eh, eh. I don't think that's nice. So if you're doing that, you must stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> and then, and then um, this one says, do you ever get stereotypes about dating a Nigerian man? Mm. I do. I honestly do. But I feel like now it's not as much as 
used to happen when mm. I just started dating him. Is some it mostly people, from guys or girls? It's mostly, I feel like sometimes it, it depends. Mm. Sometimes it's guys, sometimes mm. it's, it's women, simply because you are with a person that is non South African. So I do get them, mm. but if you're content with yourself mm. and what you want in life and the things that you have, you truly don't care. Mm. You don't care what, what the next person exactly. does or say. It's, it's, it's about me and what I want and what makes me happy and that's right. that. How you feel about it is your problem and mm -hmm. keep your opinions to yourself. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's important to remain open-minded, hey? Like, come on. At this day and age, there's still people that are like... This is why it's important to mm. travel, I think. Mm. Because you need to expose yourself to other nationalities and yeah. other cultures and other things so you remain open-minded. Yeah, people are brought to date whoever they want yeah. to date, whoever they like. Because they don't care, do something else. So please, let's do a collaboration. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Anytime. Uh, anytime, anytime. I know who this is, and mm. definitely I'm willing to do a collab with you. I think you're a great person. Yeah. You're sweet. I like your vibes. So is that a girl? Or it's a girl. girl. Oh, it's so nice when it's girls girl. do that. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do a collab with you, and mm. um, I'll hit you up definitely. I'll send you a DM and tell you that let's do this collab. So yeah. This one says, no questions, get lots of food, well, well, anyway, <laughs> as you can see, we're not having a mukbang, we're just having a QA, and a sit down and talk and answer questions and that's that, so next time, Definitely we'll have a mukbang mm -hmm. and get lots of food. Definitely. You know, definitely get lots of food. I don't know, but you know, for me, a mukbang. I know some people would get like crabs and all this fancy food. I would want like up and mukodu and chicken feet and necks and all of that. So that's what I'm gonna have for my for my for my mukbang. I want full blown South African food, and that's that. We should really plan it. Nah, a mukbang with pap, with pap, party. Yo, guys, me and pap. Like I literally I could be anyway. I just want to have pub. Can we have lunch sometime? Just small talks might learn a lot from you. Ah, don't you just like when girls like reach out to other girls and they try to like flirt each other instead of like yeah. hating on someone? So yeah, definitely can do that. I will hit you up. Hi, where do you stay? I stay Victoria. Uh, when am I gonna see you? Ish. No, once we, we grow up and become adults, yeah, it's really hard to make time for everything and everyone. But I'm gonna try my best. Love. I love this kid. And where are you from? I just answer that South Africa, we love you, planet Earth, <laughs> planet Earth from within. <laughs> and then this guy says, If you could travel to one place in the world, where would it be? Where would it be if you could travel? Anyway? If I could travel. For just for vacation or what? Generally, if someone was to sponsor everything, I would definitely go to Greece, mm. and then on my way back, I'll make a turn by London. I love London. I would, no, it has to be one place. One so place. Big. So I, okay, if if it's one place, then I think I would go to 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 Greece. To Greece. Yeah. I would go to. I think I I want so badly to go to Bali. Like somewhere in the middle of nowhere to just meditate and and get in touch with myself. Oh no, <laughs> guys, I'm so weird. Like I'm so weird like that. But that's what I'm gonna do. But please. or India. Yeah, India. Yeah. I feel like India is is spiritually pleasing. Mm. You know, it's a place where they value religion so yeah. much. There's so many temples where you can go, mm, you know, exactly. to feed your spiritual soul. So That's what I want. Uh, yeah, India is good for the soul. So I must plan around that. And this guy says, "Hi there, you have great content. Keep killing it." Oh, that's nice. Thank you, and you get a so thumbs up. And you do have great content <laughs> as well. I think I went onto his profile to check. Really? Yeah, he has great content as well. So thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm not gonna shout you out because I don't know how you would feel about it. But yeah, you know yourself. Hey. Um. Hey, yeah. We would love to collab with you. Send us a DM if you're interested. These ones. <laughs> I feel like it's those weird people on Instagram who just comment on your pictures randomly and say DM us. Where do they get my profile? I don't know. I think they just randomly. 
Are they scammers? They won't. Uh, no, they're, they're not even scammers because mm. it's people who they will tell you no. Um, we're giving you twenty five percent discount to shop on our page, oh. and you have to post. So it's that type of thing. They're also promoting their own content. But post for twenty five yeah. percent, or something, something like that. Or you buy clothes from their website and then they mm. give you like ten percent code or something like that. You get all these discount yeah. codes. So that's what I know. Oh, Imagine okay. guys, other people are probably like, like getting paid well, how much? Twenty K <laughs> and I'm <laughs> just get twenty five percent off discount. No thanks. This one says, um Are you in a relationship? Am I in a relationship? <laughs> you told me I am in a relationship. <laughs> I'm not in a relationship. I'm so you're on the market. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm actually not even in a situation. I am as single as the number single one. Single and ready to mingle. Like, <laughs> take notes. This one says, "Who's your best friend and why her?" <laughs> <laughs> Who's your best friend? My best friend is my man. <laughs> Honestly, my best friend is my my best friend is my boyfriend mm. because I spent most of my time with him. Yeah. I'm always with him. I, you know, so I talk to him a lot. Definitely that has to be my, my best friend. Mm -hmm. If there's something that's happening, he's the first person that I call. He's the first person that I tell things to. Are we still doing good or bad? Friend? So we are. He's my best friend. Okay, I know, but outside relationship, I was still like, like as a girl say, okay, this is my friend, this is my best there's, there's friend. There's people who do. For me, I, I don't have that and, mm -hmm. I, and I'm, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. Because I feel like if you're friends, you're friends. You Why know? do we have to mm. categorize it when now it must come with exactly. levels? Exactly. You know your place in my life so, as a person because okay. you know, I feel like your place is determined by the type of friend that you are to me. I don't have to be your best of anything. It's, it's okay. Really, I don't need any titles. But I think just to answer this question, she, you are my best friend. <laughs> if you say... Okay, let me be honest then. Eh? This person, eh? her and I were good. And she's loyal to me and I'm loyal to her. And yeah, so I guess that's what makes her my best friend. All my friends are my best friends. Like, if you weren't my best friend, I wouldn't bother being friends with you. So, if we're friends, just by virtue of us being friends, we're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest, guys. <laughs> this one is asking of joy. He just that means when are we getting married? When are getting married? Mm -hmm. Imagine this person doesn't. When are you getting profile? Okay, picture. but then when are you getting married? When am I getting married? Mm. Let's sort of say what are we, him and I? Okay. But when am I getting married? I don't know. Maybe I'd like to get married. Maybe like at, after thirty. Any time after thirty, when God allows. What about you? When God allows, okay. But do you have like a. When God allows. <laughs> <laughs> when God allows. All right. <laughs> because. <laughs> because I feel like you know. Sometimes as a person, mm -hmm. growing up, we all had plans of. Oh, when I'm 25, I want to be having five kids. Oh, when I'm yeah. this, I want to be. But then, as you grow up and you get into a relationship, and mm. you you know you have a person, mm. you guys talk. You talk about what you want. You talk mm. about expectations. You talk about this. Yeah. And at some point, obviously, because you you're individuals mm. with different interests and you know different plans for your lives, mm. and that's that. But one thing I know is that the whole purpose of life is mm. not to seek for marriage. Exactly. Don't don't go around seeking for you things. Know? You never know. What if it's not good for you? And so I, I feel like just this is what I'm saying when God allows and putting pressure on your partner. And yes, and so, so I'm not gonna put pressure mm. on anybody and say because we have been together for X, Y, and Z amount of mm. years, then let's get married. Or when people, I know sometimes if you've been together with a person for more than four years or whatever, people have this tendency of saying, oh, we're just getting married. Exactly. We've been together for too long. For who? Exactly. Why are you bothered? Because we are fine. So get married when the both of you want, not because mm -hmm. everybody else around you wants you to get married. And there's also a lot of things that contribute towards feeling like this is the right time. I feel like you, when you decide to get married, it should everything should make sense, mm. like logically as well, not just emotionally. It should make sense. Yes. So I uh, yeah, like she said, I feel like she won me over. When God allows, I'm also getting married. <laughs> No longer thirty. So if God allows tomorrow, I'm getting married Get tomorrow. tomorrow. You will know if it feels right. You will know. Yeah. That this is it. That's. You true. won't have to force anything with anybody. Mm. That's true. That's some wise advice. And then, 
when are you inviting me for a drink? I guess people are thirsty out there. Just like this one, when are you free? Imagine. When are you free? And, okay, if men send you such DMs, when are you free? And these people when are you having to drink? And then you have a girlfriend or wife or whatever. Well, what is the purpose? What, they, what, are, what are you trying to get out of this? Them. Don't tell me things like, let's when are having drinks. Drinks for what? Man, why do you do that, really? Like, <laughs> I, it's like you guys have a lot of time Thursday. in your head and active. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? Black. Really? Yes. Can tell. I love black. <laughs> nah, what's my favorite color? My favorite color is rose gold, but I always like like a touch of red. But rose gold is definitely my favorite color. I love black. But not a lot of things come in rose gold yeah. also, so I have to sacrifice a lot. So I love black. Live in black if I could. But you know what my issue with black is? Apparently black, like wearing black makes you look skinny. And I feel like I'm already skinny, so I don't want to look too skinny. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I avoid it. <laughs> Enough for me. I have problems. There's no such. Mm, I'm telling you. <sighs> but no, I love black. Mm. I love black so much. Black is everything. Okay, this one says, any advice for a 25, 21-year-old girl with big dreams? Firstly, focus on yourself. Mm. I know that it sounds cliche. Yeah. Because other people say that. Mm. And then another thing is don't center your entire life around anybody. Be mm. it a man, be it friends, be it family. Mm. Do not do that. The center of your life should be what exactly. you want to achieve and what you want out of life. Mm. You feel like you want to, because I know for example, for black people, mm. some black families don't want their children to leave the country. Yeah. Because the matter of, no, like, hi, what if you what have if kids abroad, happens. what if something happens? So things like that never really work out because now you're going to end up being frustrated mm. and then four or five or ten years down the line, you end up having issues with your family because they mm. didn't allow you mm. to explore. So and explore. going to have that burden. Yes. So explore. Do what you want, mm. whatever it is that you want, do it, as long as it makes you feel good, yeah. go for it. And you are still young, I mean, it's, it's experiment. 21 experiment, years experiment, experiment, experiment. Age. It's a good age mm. to experiment in whatever that you want to do and mm. see what works for you. If you don't know what you want to do, this is time to explore what you want to do with your life. Yeah. And take it from there. Mm. Be with whoever you want to be with. Mm. Date if you want to date. If you don't, don't don't settle for nobody. Mm. Never. Don't settle. Do what you want to do and keep it moving. It's, it's the one about not settling is just very important, hey? It is. Nah, what I would say, since so one year old, I'd say, like, take more along the lines of what you said, but like take time to figure yourself out mm -hmm. and know yourself and know who you are and know mm -hmm. your interests and what you want to be don't give away so much of your time to people and things because at the end of the day you're not put in this world to just serve 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 you're also here to achieve the purpose that god put you in the planet for mm -hmm. so it's your responsibility to figure out what that is and it's your responsibility True. to make sure it happens so yeah, don't expect someone to hand you your dreams or hand you the life that you want to live. Yes. Take time out of whatever situation you're in and also making excuses and feeling bad for yourself and expecting people to feel bad for you, feeling like people owe you. Get mm -hmm. out of that mentality and go out in the world and figure out what you're meant to do. Yeah. I think is what I'd say. Hmm. So that's about it. Yeah, but anyway, so I hope the Q&A Mm. gives you know a lot of people that watch our videos yes a glimpse into what we are like mm -hmm. what we think like exactly <laughs> you know? but anyway this is a nice and short video straight to the point yeah. i hope everybody else who's gonna watch this will enjoy it mm -hmm. if you have any more questions please ask yeah this is a nice ask, video ask, ask right. questions if you like this video give it a thumbs up mm -hmm. and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't Leave a, and leave a comment go subscribe on her channel go follow her on the gram so but nonetheless thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next vlog Bye.